Hey guys, I'm back with a small haul and um, I want to just get this out here because I'm so excited. I just got one of these things today and it is ColourPop. I've been in love with ColourPop and I've been in love with highlighters <clears throat> and bronzers and foundation and things of that sort. Um, I'm trying some more foundations right now, but I'll do that in another video. So let's get started. Um, first thing first. Um, this is what they come in. They come in a little box like this. Um, just the normal normal ColourPop box. So I picked up four highlighters. The first one is Butterfly Beach. And these um, don't have the normal um, embossing on the top. They're just um, flat. And I'll swatch this and show you what it looks like. And to me, they're a little bit creamier um which is crazy than the normal um eyeshadows are and that's what that look like oh that is so nice let's see oh. yes yes i'm gonna love these they were eight dollars a piece by the way which i personally don't think is bad the next one is monster and this has to be my absolute favorite um because i do have uh, a lot of pink in my own um, skin tone pink toned highlighters work better on me than gold ones do but um i still wear them all just the same but this is what monster looks like <sighs> And I will show you what Monster looks like swatched on my hand. Look at it. Look at that duochrome. I'm going with that as a highlight and an eyeshadow. It looks so nice. Let me see. Put a little bit on my cheek. <clears throat> see if you can see that. Oh, pair that with some type of pink or purple blush. That's going to be so nice. I hope you can see that. I just blended it so you can see a little bit. Probably too far. I really like that. Should have wiped that off. Okay. <coughs> Screw these on tight. Don't want these to dry out. Okay, the next one is most, mm, most necessary. And it looks like this. And it's like a rosy coppery color. Looks like that. So good. <laughs> I'm in love with highlights. I, I hope, wonder if you can tell. And um, I've heard these are best applied with the fingers and then um, blend it out with a brush. So that's how I will be trying these. But I'm just trying to get you to um, get a good look at how they come off on your cheeks. Mm. I love subtle highlighters too. I remember for a long time I really didn't like highlighters because I thought they had to be shimmery. Every highlighter I would try that everybody was so excited about was super shimmery. If you have large pores, that's just not going to go well. It's not, it's not, it's not. <coughs> and um, I really like these for the fact that it's not super shimmery. It's some of my subtle and some of them are more like in your face but it's still not just a glittery mess on your face um the last one i got was tasty and this is more of a coral um highlight and for me i think i will mix it with another blush but i'm still gonna swatch it and put it on my um cheeks for you um the last two were less pigmented than the um first two the monster and butterfly beach but still gorgeous nonetheless look at that oh 
It's going to be so awesome. Mix that with a blush. You know, a blush that may have been okay, but it need a little something else. Mix it. And it's going to be awesome. Look at that. Oh, such a great sheen. And great for spring and summer. So, that's it for ColourPop. If you haven't tried anything from ColourPop, if you're not interested in shadows and blah, 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 I don't know. You got to try something. You got to try something. And I'm just so in love with those highlighters. But I, I'm not even going to take that out. I'm, I know I'm going to look weird, but we're just going to wear that for the rest of the video, okay? So, the next thing is um, this Buxom True Nude Lip Foundation. It comes in a box like this. I have it on my lips right now. And it comes in a twist-up tube, like this one. And I like the fact that it's... Um, can I twist it? Oh, duh. I like the fact that it has an angle. It makes it very easy to apply. And um, I like the fact that finally it's something that's close to my lip color, as you can see. Um, because I don't always want to look done up, especially when I don't have on foundation. I do not wear foundation every day, but I still don't want to be plain plain. You understand what I'm saying? Um, which I still have a tendency to do. Y'all know um, when I'm when it's short on time, I make sure my hair is neat and my face is clean. And that's about it most of the time. But um, I find that I don't want to wear lipstick and bring it with me to reapply or lip gloss and all of this and that. This does not go anywhere. They say that you can wear this under a lipstick or a lip gloss. I prefer it like this because I like the fact that it's close to my lip color. Um, so I don't look like, oh, she got on lipstick. She trying too hard. I just really like um, this nude. I, I, Y'all know um, if you've been watching me for a while, I have been trying all these new lipsticks, new lipsticks. And nothing just really just suited me, you know just right and I think this is and it's definitely a plus that it stays on and it doesn't come off um so you can eat with it I mean it feels like a liquid lipstick it feels like a cat bundy or something like that but you don't feel it on your lips but it dries down just like a liquid lipstick it's hard to explain but I definitely think you should try it um I think this retails for about $19 definitely worth a try especially if you have pigmented lips like me so that's that um i also found these wet and wild limited edition um blush and glow trios this one is in solar power Ooh, ooh best three dollars best three dollars i've spent in a long time Look at those colors. I've brushed these together and I've also um, used them individually. My favorite color is um, the this lighter kind of bronzy color. Watch this. It's so finely milled. So you do have to watch out. I don't know if you see that fallout just from my finger. But it's $3. Watch it. Watch it. You ready? Oh boy. That is awesome. Awesome. Um, I swatched the other three <laughs> just for uh, shits and giggles. Um, that's what those other two look like. And I'll swatch those two. So this is the pink blended out. Let me get a better swatch. Okay. This pink color blended out. The first one I showed you. And then this deeper bronze. Let me tell you, I used that on um, just this weekend um, on a darker skin client. Ooh, she was glowing, baby. She was glowing. The second one, I think personally, I feel like to be on the safe side, that cut that one is the only one that's geared, and you all skin tones can wear it. Um, the other two are very geared towards very light, fair skin tones. This one right here is Borderline. It is Sunset Junction. I can only wear this swirl together as a highlight. Um, but what really caught my eye was this um, pinky white. 
looks like that but then when you swatch it it has this nice sheen to it but that is too white um just to go on my skin but swirl together um it, it comes off more as just a nice pinky um highlight so that's swirl together so it's borderline you know barely you know does me any justice but you know, it was well worth picking up. And the last things I picked up were these B Matte Blushes from BH Cosmetics. This is my very first purchase. Um, no, it, it isn't. My second. The first thing I purchased was the foundation. I didn't like it. But I had to try these blushes because I remember everybody talking about guava and papaya. Well, I still didn't get guava and papaya. <laughs> But they had free shipping, and I did want to try these blushes. These are the newer blushes. This one right here is hibiscus, and this one is zinnia, I want to say. These are awesome. They are also very finely milled and pigmented. I'll do a swatch for you. It's like this peachy brown, um, very um, neutral color that I know is going to look awesome again on our dark skin tones now I, I figure if you are a darker um skin tone you can wear this mixed in with the blush and the glow and the sheen on this is just so great especially for a matte blush so that's what that looks like and the next one is hibiscus and it's kind of another nudie brown Pinky mauve color. That's a lot, ain't it? <laughs> I'll show you a close-up. You can get what I mean. And I'll swatch it right beside it. Very, very great everyday colors. And it's buildable. So, hope you can see that. That's that one right there. I've worn both of these on my cheeks. And they are just gorgeous everyday colors. Um, and again, they do glow. This peach right here I'm gonna put uh, most necessary this one on top mix those two I know that's gonna be awesome look at that ooh, ooh. okay anyway guys that's it that's all I got for you right now um, I'll be back uh, so stay tuned to my next video